Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to day 27. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. So today is all about the feet, ankles and the calves. So um, it's very common bones. So the feet do a wonderful job for us. So we're doing some um, gentle opening and stretching with our feet. And then we're also going to do some work with our calf muscles because a lot of the reasons why people develop things like plantar fasciitis for example which is pain through the arch and the ball and the heel of the foot is because of um, extremely tight calves and of course we've got the ankle in the middle so we'll do some mobilization and stretching through the ankle too okay so let's get started sitting on our mats um, sit on a block or a cushion so there's some sort of elevation just underneath your hips namaste So we'll actually sit off the block first of all, just have two blocks at the ready and we'll just warm up just by inhaling, palms up, lifting all the way up to the sky, inhaling in that fresh air, temple mudra, so that means you interlace all the fingers except for the middle finger and the digit finger, stretch the arms all the way up, chin in, lengthening through the spine, lengthen, 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 at the same time pressing down through the sit bones, arms straight as you can. And then exhaling all the way down, fingertips toward the floor, palms down with control, feeling how you cleanse and energize the aura. Beautiful. Chin to the chest, fingertips to the floor, just stretching the fingers as far as they will, touching the floor. Okay, inhaling, palms up, neck nice and straight again. Inhaling all the way up, slowly bringing the oxygen into your lungs. Interlace the fingers the opposite way this time. So if you had your left thumb on top last time, the right on top this time. Beautiful. Really try and straighten those arms. Bring the arms back so your ears are between your arms. Straight, 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 straight. Fingertips all the way up to the ceiling. Really lengthen through the whole spine while you press down through the sit bones. And then back to the palms together as you exhale, palms down, really open all the fingers this time. Open them all the way out, stretch the arms right out of the sides, all the way down, fingertips to the mat. Very nice. Now change the cross of the feet. And let's just rock from side to side. So we just bring some movement and energy into the body, waking ourselves up. It's wonderful to do this practice first thing in the morning, just wake up and jump on your mat. It makes such a huge difference to the day. Just these simple movements, bringing in positivity, energy, light and energy. I said energy twice, there you go, must be important. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> all right, good. And let's come back to the center. And let's just bring the feet together and clasping the fingers around the feet, straightening up the body so that your spine is nice and straight. And let's just fly like a butterfly in the sky. So just flying like a butterfly. All right. So just small wiggles, trying to get those knees down as low as they can. Now, it doesn't matter how far your knees come down. It, what does matter is that you feel something. So you should be getting a stretch across the top of the groin here. It also works through the adductors. Um, energetically, this is working through the um, gallbladder and um, bladder meridians, in fact. So it's a very good exercise. And let's put our thumbs just underneath the ball of the foot in the soft part of the foot just here and press here while we this time do stronger um, knees. So really pressing with our thumbs. So this point is the end of the kidney meridian. So if you've been feeling stressed and you really need to relax and release, pressing through here helps um, on the energy system to bring in relaxation. It's also good for when you're first waking up. Well, everything is just to move the energy through the kidneys. Kidneys and liver do so much work for you while you're at rest or play. Beautiful. Okay, now let's just bring one knee in front. So I've brought my left knee in front and my um, left ankle by the right hip. And we'll just bring the left ankle on top of the knee, 
up uh, right ankle, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't do both, can you? Right ankle on top of the knee. All right, and put the fingers in between each toe. So separating the toes with the fingers. And then let's just rotate the ankle. So remember to keeping your back straight. So just because we're focusing on one part of the body, we don't forget the rest. So just rotating the ankle. So just change your seating position in such a way so that you can get that. You want to have the ankle like resting on top of the foot. Let's rotate the other way. <laughs> ankle resting on top of the thigh. Oh boy, thigh bones connected to the knee bone. Okay, keep rotating. That's it. Good. And let's just flex it all the way back and then pull it. And this time, put your hand on top of the foot and pull that foot all the way down. So really stretching through the top of the foot and then flexing it all the way back. So I'm using my left hand against the heel and the right hand on the ball of the foot to flex it. And then point and then flex and then point and then flex. And let's just give those feet a little massage. Maybe we've got 29 bones in the feet. So I'm just massaging my hands up and down the foot. So we're not going to put our hands in our mouths. So don't worry about putting your hands in your feet. <laughs> All right. And then let's just pull the little toe, then the second last toe, middle toe, second toe. And then just massage around the base of the thumb. So in reflexology, this relates to the neck and then the middle of the pad of the toe. So just press the pad of each toe with your thumbs. This is related to the sinus. Good. And then we'll rub our thumbs down the inside part of the foot here. So just going down the line, that relates to the spinal process. Or maybe there's a sore spot there and just press there a bit more. So just moving up and down that area. Beautiful. And then we'll just pummel the thumbs in the center here. So just the thumbs going like this into the soft part of the foot. So this is all like the internal organs, particularly the intestines and digestive system. Marvelous. Okay, let's put that foot on the floor and then inhaling, stretching up the left arm and bending the elbow to bring it on the outside of the right knee, right hand behind you and just give our spine a nice twist. And turning the head over the right shoulder. Let's just return to the front and we'll swap the legs. So the right knee comes forward and this time the left ankle comes across the right knee. So interlacing the right fingers inside those toes and we'll just rotate the ankle. So the reason we have the fingers inside the toes also is again because of the energetic system. So um, our meridians or um, in the Indian language they call it the nadis. We have 72,000 nadis. I don't know how they count them, but there you go. And um, many of them end in our fingers and our toes. So this is why we really should be giving, let's go the other way, should be giving our feet and hands a massage every day just to wake up the energy system of the body. Keep that neck nice and long and the back straight. By pulling in the lower belly, it's like a button for your neck. Keep your neck nice and straight. Okay, good. And let's flex that foot back, all the way back, and then pull it down. And this time using the opposite hand, flex the foot back, and then pulling the top of the foot down, and flexing the foot back, and pulling the top of the foot down. Very nice. Now let's start that massage. So just coming up and down the feet with your hands, just moving up and down. So I've got my fingers on the top of the feet and my thumbs on the bottom of the feet. That's it. So we're just moving the energy through the feet. And now let's go down the spinal process. So both thumbs pressing against the instep 
of the foot here. So where there's, you can feel like that major metatarsal joins in there. So just press along there. Good. And now let's work on the internal organs. So all around with your thumb, like pummeling the centre there. So that's particularly the intestines, lungs, kidneys, pancreas. And now let's just um, pull each toe, pinky toe, fourth toe, middle toe, second toe. And with the big toe, just massage around the base of the big toe, that's the neck. I don't ever pull the big toe because it is the neck. <laughs> so, um, but that's up to you. And then massage the tip of the big toe, so the pad of the big toe, just pressing it. And then press each toe, so that's your sinus also relates to eyes and ears in fact good excellent so that's our feet massaged now bring that foot back onto the floor and then inhale the right arm all the way up and as you bend the elbow bring it to the outside of the right knee left hand behind and turn the whole body to stretch Very nice, let's come back to the center. Okay, so let's come now to our hands and knees. And I just want you to curl your toes under. So curl your toes under, and then sit back onto your heels with your toes curled under. And then bringing yourself up to seated. Now, for some people you may need to stay here for a while, depends on what your toes are doing. So we're just stretching out through those toes and bringing that tailbone down, lower belly in, and let's just roll out through those shoulders. Stretching the arms out the sides and then bringing them together in front of you in temple mudra. So just the thumb, uh, sorry, forefinger and middle finger touching and inhale those arms all the way up and stretch them all the way up. That's it. So keep the tailbone coming down as you stretch the hands up to the sky. And exhaling the arms out and then coming forward, so changing the cross of the fingers, stretching the arms out, inhaling them up, dropping the shoulders, ears between the arms, keeping the lower belly and tailbone toward the navel, and then exhaling all the way out. Beautiful work. Excellent. Now let's come back onto our hands and knees and undo the toes, and let's just tap out those feet. Okay, so from here, just stretching out your left leg, I want you just to rock forward and back. So we're getting a bit of work through the ankle here, just rocking forward and back on those toes. Nice work, everyone. We're also getting some work through the wrists. So let's go a little bit more strongly forward and back, see if you increase the movement. Keep coming in the belly, looking at the floor, lengthening the neck. Nice, then lift that leg and rotate the ankle in one direction. So the leg is straight behind you, the inner um, groin is coming up and the outer thigh down, rotating the foot in the other direction, and then point and flex, point and flex, so get a little bit of core work and hip work at the same time. Point and flex, point and flex. Now open all the toes and then scrunch the toes, and open all the toes and scrunch. Looks like this. You open and you scrunch. Open and scrunch. Good. Let's change to the other side. So stretching that right leg out this time. Stretching the heel all the way out and then bring the foot to the ground and just gently moving forward and backward. So we're getting some stretch through the calf as well as mobilization through the ankle and work through the wrist. Let's make it a little bit stronger. Good. 
Now let's lift that leg up and rotate the ankle in one direction and then the other. And then one direction and the other. And flex and point, flex and point, flex and point. So keep lengthening the neck and the shoulders to away from each other. Flex and point. And then scrunch the toes and open them. Scrunch and open. Scrunch and open. Scrunch and open. Very nice work. So let's just sit back onto our um, heels again. Let's just rotate out through those wrists. So we've just done a fair bit of work through our wrists as well. And then the other way. Good. Bring the hands together and press the hands together like that. So you're really pressing through the wrists. And then bring the backs of the hands together. I'll just turn around for you. So just pressing the backs of the hands together. Keep the shoulders down. Good. And then rotate the fingers forward and then back around. And then forward and back around. And then forward and back around. Nice work. Okay. So. From here, let's come up into our downward dog. So pressing up through your feet. So we have our feet together. I'm just going to take this jacket off because it's warming up. And it keeps flipping over my head. There we go. Okay, so we're in the downward dog. And let's just keep those feet together. And pressing through the hands, fingers are all separated. And bring the heels as close as you can toward the floor. So, it may not necessarily be that they are on the floor, mine are not. So just bring them all the way down to the floor and pressing through the hands. Give a nice stretch through the calves and we're lengthening through the spine at the same time. Keep bringing the biceps up, triceps down. Beautiful, enjoying this stretch. And then bring out the right leg and stretch it out behind you. And let's flex and point, flex and point, flex and point. So as you stretch, like my left heel has come to the ground now, so as you go, you may find that your heels will get closer. Okay, rotating the ankle and rotating the ankle. Beautiful, bring that foot down to meet its mate. Stretching back out through the arms again and then lifting up the left leg. Flex and point, flex and point. Remember to keep that leg nice and strong and straight. And then rotating the ankle in one direction. And then the other. Beautiful, bring the feet to the ground. Now separate the feet and then walk them forward until you get your feet on the floor flat on the floor. So you stay in the downward dog. So bringing the heels out so that the outsides of the feet are parallel with the mat. And just really press back into those heels. Good. Should be getting some nice tricep work here too. Now let's walk our hands up to our feet. And let's just bend the knees coming into a squat. Good. Now, with our squats, let's have, so right now we've got our squat like this. So I want you to grab the block and I want you to place the block underneath the heels, like so. So the feet are just hip width apart. So just placing the block under the heels, good. And then straighten up through the spine and bring the palms together at the chest. Good. And just looking straight ahead, close your eyes coming back into your centre, so allowing the weight of the body to come down towards the heels, we're getting a nice stretch through the heels. Now if that block is too high, then just use a rolled towel, so it all depends on your ankles. If your ankles come straight to feet, feet come flat on the floor, then do that. So, Now let's just remove that block and how close can you get your heels to the floor? So personally I can't, so what I'm going to suggest is 
Let's bring our feet out at 45 degrees. And then we'll press our knees away and hands together at the front. Good. So really press those knees away as much as you possibly can. Bring those buttocks all the way down towards the floor. And really press with those palms and lengthening through the collarbones from the center out. That's it. Now place the palms on the floor and let's press ourselves up to standing. Exhale. And then inhale, coming back. And exhale down. So hands on the floor. And inhale up. So remember the knees are tracking over the feet. And exhale down. And let's do two more. Inhale up. Exhale down. So get a nice stretch through the backs of the legs. Inhale up. And exhale down. Beautiful. Let's heel and toe those feet together. And just wrapping your arms around the backs of the calves. So we just grab the backs of the forearms and really pulling them against the calves as you bring your head towards your knees. Bring your weight a little forward so that you have your hips over your ankles. Most of us tend to lean back. Hmm. So this of course is really strong for the calves and the hamstrings particularly. So as we press our legs against our forearms, you can get more deeply pulling the belly. Mm. Nice work. Okay, good. So let's bring our hands onto our hips and press ourselves all the way back up to standing. Okay. So, okay, so let's stand in the center of our mats. Have your two blocks at the ready. Inhale, fingertips together. Exhale, bring your feet apart. Excellent. All right, now we're going to turn the right foot out and the left heel in, uh, out. Sorry, left heel out and turn the whole of the right leg. And we're going to just reel that foot forward. So we're gonna come into our warrior pose. Now, we're just gonna stay here for the count of three two, one. Now look at your foot and what I want you to do is to then just bring your foot back up and place the foot uh, block so that it's just underneath the ball of your foot. Okay? So, if you've got a wall that can be quite nice. So the block is just under the ball of the foot. So we go back here. That's it. So this one when I was rehabilitating my knee, because I had a meniscal tear, then I used this one all the time. So this is opens up the knee and also works through the calves and the ankles and the feet. So make sure, imagine someone's pulling your left arm back so that you keep your body nice and straight and your body is facing forward. Remember, it's not turning one way or another. Good. Arms level with the shoulders. Great. And then just feeling the stretch here through the ankle. So this is actually really powerful. Again, a lot of yoga stuff doesn't always necessarily look like you're doing very much, but I assure you, doing this one every day does amazing things for really strengthening and lengthening through the legs here. Good, and let's straighten the leg up and then Inhale and exhale, bring your thumb to the inside of the shoe, other fingers pointing out, and let's come into our triangle posture. So if you're finding it a bit tricky on the block, then you might just try with a rolled towel to start with, just to give yourself an easier option, and then you graduate up to the full block. ourselves back up and let's turn the feet in and so we've got the right heel out so just have that block just in front of your foot there right heel out 
whole of the left leg turns, keeping his hips nice and square, and straightening the arms out. Good. Lift and lengthen through the feet. So I just lift the, the toes up and lengthen the soles of the feet. And let's just come into a gentle warrior pose. So imagine someone's pulling that left arm back, keeping your spine nice and straight, shoulder blades coming toward each other. That's it. Now look at your left toes. And you're going to bring that, now make sure that knee stays coming out behind you. You're going to bring that block so that it is under the ball of the foot. Yes, yeah? so it's got that little ridge just under the ball of the foot. Squeeze that foot back a little. And then coming into the same posture. That's it. So keep that left knee tracking over the toes. So you don't come as low with, with the um, bent leg here. It's not so much of a 90 degrees, but you're getting a really good stretch through the ankle and it really does a lot of great work for the knees. So keep pulling in the belly, stretching the arms out straight from the shoulders, shoulder blades back. Good, and let's straighten that leg. And then bring the thumb to the inside of the shin, other fingers on the outside, pressing with the thumbs to really help open up through the shoulders. So try and have the arms in a straight line and turning the head to look at your top thumb, lifting up both knees. So there's a little bit of balance here that you may not be used to, but it comes with time. Beautiful, coming all the way back up. And let's just here and toe our feet back in. All right, good. Now, let's get the block and just put your left foot on top of the block and the right foot on the floor. So have, make sure that the insides of the feet are parallel and the hip width apart. And then see if you can straighten that leg and by straightening that leg, the hip comes out. Okay, so you start with the knee bent. I'll just see if it's easier to see from this side maybe. You start with the knee bent and then you straighten the leg and the hip comes out. So it will come behind you a bit as well. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're really working on, now bring your weight a little forward so that your hips are over your ankles. Let's see if you try and keep the body straight rather than twisted. Good. So we're kind of like bringing the body skew if and then we bring it to straight and you'll see what I mean. So let's undo that, sort of feel what it feels like through the hips. Okay, and now let's try the other one. So, we put the foot up on the block, knee is bent, tucking that tailbone in, and then straightening the leg. So to straighten the leg, so you're gonna feel a stretch here through um, the top of the hip here. So a lot of stuff that we're getting going on with our knees and ankles has a lot to do with tightened hips, all that too much sitting that we tend to have most of us. Okay, so straightening up that leg, lift the kneecaps, can you weight forward a little so that the hips are over the knees and the ankles, straight ahead, as I'm looking straight ahead. Okay, very nice work. Okay, so coming up to the end, so we'll just do the last one here, so for the last posture, I just want you to put both feet onto the block. Ooh, like that. Okay. And trying to actually we'll do another posture after this one. Just trying to balance. So just bring the tailbone in. So the body's coming forward a little, but just trying to really straighten up the body as you're getting a stretch through the calf muscles. And then stretch through the ankles too. And remember, if this is a bit strong, then just use a blanket next time or rolled up sticky mat. Lovely. And now we're going to do it the other way. So grabbing your second block with your hands, bring the heels onto the block, and then stretching the block out in front of you. So I'm going to turn around so you can see just in the camera. 
So stretching the block out in front of you, palms facing each other, fingers on the block, yeah, so they're not off the block. And then inhale, and as you exhale, turning the body towards the right, but keeping the legs where they are. So you're just turning the torso and the arms. So the arms coming all the way to the right, pressing the block. And coming back to center, so getting some nice rotation through here, and then towards the left. So trying to, as I go to the left, I'm trying to bring my right arm forward so that my hands are parallel, so that the block is still square to the body. And this comes to the center. And we'll do one overhead. So inhale, really press the block. So both hands are along the short sides of the block, pressing it all the way up, and then exhaling from the arms back down. Beautiful. So that's all we have time for today. So please go and have a look at my meditations playlist in the description below. You can just click the link. And I highly suggest that you just spend 10 minutes lying out and relaxing and then go for a walk and look for those intuitive signs of nature that help us to keep in contact with who we really are. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm staying.